GeekTubers! Welcome to Mary's Book Reviews here on the Fandom Clan channel. I'm Mary B. Rose and today we are reviewing Manifesting Destiny by M. Pepper Langlinase. If you are new here, big welcome! In addition to doing these book reviews, I also do geeky DIYs and I also do family vlogs with my super geeky and very unconventional family. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification button so you can get notified of all our up and coming content. With that, let's get started. This is a young adult book. I would say geared for ages 11 on up and definitely entertaining enough that adults could read this as well. This is a fantasy story maybe set in another dimension or planet very similar to our environment. This book takes us to a world of shapeshifters and basically as you approach becoming a young adult you will shapeshift into some sort of animal. You don't know what you're going to shapeshift into but once that occurs your clan will come and take you away and you will go and live with them for the rest of your days. This story is about a young girl named C and she's been lifelong friends with a boy named Marcus and she's in love with him. She discovers what she's becoming. It is becoming alarming very fast that she is transforming into something that is going to be the polar opposite of what Marcus seems to be transforming into. It's so polar opposite that it would basically make them mortal enemies. Now to make matters worse, in their society dragons have all been wiped out by a war that occurred like some 200 years past and the side that C was on, the dragon side, they lost and the side that Marcus was on, they were the winners. <laughs> C is dealing with all the anxieties of what her identity is going to be, of losing her friend, and also being really uncertain about how society is going to accept her if she reveals this to them. This was a really unique concept and I really loved the world building that Miss Pepper created in this book. I felt that it was really believable and really fascinating and I really wanted to keep reading and find out what was going to happen next. I especially related to this book because of my own sexual orientation and being pansexual. C is basically going through this turmoil of discovering who she is and trying to come to terms with who she is and how society is going to accept that and also realizing that they may completely ostracize her because of that. And I feel like the similarities between people who may be on that side of the spectrum in our society could relate to a character who's going through the same thing but in a fantasy type way. Because she has this dragon inside of her and it also happens to be male, I really think this book would resonate with youth who are coming to terms with an unconventional sexual orientation, especially transgender. By far, my favorite character in this was Livian, who is the dragon trapped inside of C. He is old and wise, but at the same time, he's also a little bit immature and very snarky. He's got this mischievous, devious kind of side to him. So it makes for an interesting conflict that C is trying to reconcile with this new personality, this new side of her. I only had like two things that I didn't like about this story. One, you have C and Marcus and then two other characters who are their friends and they leave their hometown to go investigate something that doesn't seem quite right and then from there they journey on and I just felt like the reasons they left and the reasons pushing them forward seemed a little ambiguous and unclear. I would have liked to have seen that a little more well defined and I think it would have made the story a little tighter. Also, I did want a little more closure at the end of the story. I know there's another book coming down the pipeline, but I feel like the main story was really left sort of hanging. I wanted just a little more satisfaction of closure 
But of course, it was such a good read that it did definitely drive me to want to read the second book. Overall, I am going to give this book 4 out of 5 roses. I really enjoyed this book. There was a lot to like about this book. I will leave the ebook link down below. Get this book and read it and come back to this video and tell me what you thought. I would love to hear your opinions about what you thought of this story. And also, I am always open to suggestions and feedbacks about my review itself what you would like to see more of, less of. And one last thing before you go, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you can get notified of our new and up and coming content. So with that, I will say goodbye 